Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about Euler's formula in advanced engineering mathematics. So how are we going to express a rectangular form in the form of the exponential or the Euler's formula? So basically, uh, Euler's formula is given by this, r e raised to i theta, of which uh, we have discussed from our previous videos what is the meaning of r, and we have the meaning of theta. So that is basically equivalent to uh, r quantity we have cos sine theta plus i sine theta okay so i could uh, i should replace this with quantity okay okay so let's get started so we have nine examples for this video and uh it it, it will help you on how to evaluate uh uh complex numbers in exponential or in Euler, in Euler uh, form. So, express 4 plus ti in the form of r e raised to i theta. So, what are we going to do that in that problem? This problem is to get r. We know that that r is simply from the given formula. We have 4 squared plus 3 squared from the given. Okay, I mean, and that is basically equal to 5. And theta, in order for us to get theta, that's... Uh, arctan of dy which in case that's the the constant 3 all over 4 that is 0 0.644 make sure that your calculator is in radian so we don't have any problems in calculating the theta so we have r e raised to uh, i theta is now equal in the form of 5e okay 5e 0.644 i so this is our answer in converting this uh, rectangular form into exponential or in the euler formula or euler's form so we have number two okay we're going to express uh, the complex number negative 5 plus 2 i in the form again of r e raised to i theta so the same process so we need to get r first and then we have negative 5 squared plus 2 squared and that is equal to 5.39 okay in decimal so we have theta arctan of 2 over negative 5 and that will give you negative 0 0.3805 Take note that our complex number lies. If you're going to plot the complex number, it lies on the quadrant 2. And this angle is not in quadrant 2, but rather quadrant 4. So what are we going to do is we need to add pi, okay, in order for us to get the correct angle. So if we add pi, that would become 2.761, of which this angle, in terms of radian, is in the quadrant 2. So our final answer for that would be 5.39 e raised to uh, 2.761 i. So that is the answer in terms of the exponential or the Euler form. So for number 3, Let's try to solve this to simplify e raised to negative pi over 2i. Okay? So, how do we simplify that? e raised to negative pi over 2 multiplied by i can be rewritten or can be evaluated by the Euler's formula. So, this is our theta. This is our i. So, that is equivalent cosine of theta of which that is negative pi over 2 plus i sine of theta negative pi over 2. Cosine of negative pi over 2 would be 0 plus the sine of negative pi over 2 that is negative 1. So the answer here, negative 1 times i is negative i. So we simplify this simply as evaluated as simply negative i so another problem on how we are going to solve this or problem involving Euler so we have negative 
quantity of the pi plus i times pi. So, we can distribute the negative. So, we have e raised to negative pi minus okay, i pi. And by properties of exponent, we can rewrite this as e raised to negative pi multiplied by e raised to negative i pi. Okay? And we can rewrite this into Euler's form. So we have e raised to negative pi that is multiplied by, in the Euler's form of this, our theta is negative pi. Okay? So we have cosine of negative pi plus i sine of negative pi. Evaluate that. Cosine of negative pi would be equal to negative 1. Okay? So, let me just rewrite. This is negative 1. Okay? And then, sine of negative pi, that is 0. Okay? So, our final answer, if you're going to simplify this, okay, problem, so we have negative 1 times e raised to negative pi, that is negative e raised to negative pi. So this must be our answer for this problem. It's pretty easy, right? Once you know the Euler's formula, you know, you know how to, uh, you, the laws of exponent, the basic laws of exponent, you can simplify this raised to negative pi i, we can directly substitute by Euler's formula, we have cosine of negative pi plus i sine of negative pi. And we know the answer to that, that is negative 1 plus i times 0. So we have negative 1. So simply, this is only equal to negative 1. So for number 6, we have e raised to i multiplied by negative pi minus 2. Okay, so we simply distribute the i, so we have e raised to negative pi i, okay, minus 2i, and by loss of exponent, we can separate that too by multiplication, so we have this uh, 4, okay, by using both, okay, we can express this Two terms, okay, these two, into Euler's formula. So we have cosine of negative pi plus i sine of negative pi, of which this is very similar to this. And we know that this whole term is equal only to negative 1. And that is multiplied by this. Cosine of negative 2 plus i sine of negative 2 in terms of radians. So we know that this is negative 1, this term. So, cosine negative 2, so that is negative 0 0.416. Okay, evaluate this sine of negative 2, that would become negative 0 0.909. Okay, i. Multiplied by negative 1, our answer would be 0 0.416 plus 0 0.909 i. So, this is our answer in terms of rectangular form. Okay, so let's go now for number seven. Number seven. Number seven, evaluate this or simplify. We have e raised to i x phi. Okay, so we can rewrite this as e raised to i phi raised to x. Okay, you can rewrite this as that. So this one we can rewrite by the Euler's formula. But raised to x, so we have cosine of pi plus i sine of pi raised to x. And we know if we evaluate this, this is 0, this would be negative 1. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Okay, so we have negative 1 raised to x. So that is our answer because we don't know what x is. Okay. So, number 8, last two problems, e raised to negative pi i all over e raised to negative 2i pi. Okay.
Okay, we can rewrite this as e raised to negative pi i multiplied by negate the exponent of this. That would be e raised to 2 i pi or 2 pi i. So if we are going to express this both in uh, Euler's form, so we have cosine of negative pi plus i sine of negative pi multiplied by cosine of 2 pi plus sine of 2 pi. Then we have the i here. Okay. So we know that cosine negative pi would be equal to negative 1 and we know that this is 0 okay and this is also 0 so cosine of 2 pi would be 1 so negative 1 times 1 would be 1 and last for this video so we have e raised to negative pi multiplied by pi minus i so simply distribute the negative pi. So we have negative pi squared okay, plus we have pi i. Okay. So we can rewrite this as rewrite this as e raised to negative pi squared multiplied by e raised to pi i. We can rewrite this in Euler's form. We cannot rewrite this in Euler's form. Why? Because it does not have any complex number in its exponent. So we have e raised to negative pi squared multiplied by cosine of pi plus i sine of pi. Okay, and we know again that this is equal to 0 and this is simply equal to negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 that is negative e raised to negative pi squared. So this should be our final answer. So again, thank you so much for listening. This is Engineer Abbott. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more math and engineering tutorial. So thank you so much and God bless.